Okay. All right, hey everybody. Welcome to MyCom Labs. Uh, this is our audio department at MyCom Labs. We got hooked up with a concept that we wanted to test out. So one of the things that we like to do in the R&D part of the audio lab here is how quality matters. Now quality matters in many ways, like some people think of it as fidelity that you know, having an audio, uh, uh, an output device that has a certain frequency response. But one of the things we started to look at is how humans interact with the device based on that perceived quality. So, you know, discussing, we've done this before, talked about the frequencies in which the average baby cries at, and that we had noted that sometimes with these IoT devices, that um, women weren't res responding as well to it or were giving it more negative reviews when those frequencies were, were spiked. And so when a baby crying frequency was spiked, women tended to not respond as well to the device with things like, I don't like it, it doesn't sound good, it sounds poor. And that was kind of an interesting study that we had seen done. So then we had come across not out long after that was another study showing that they're using tones and frequencies to um, augment or in enhance the, the level of food. Obviously, you could imagine the interface for a restaurant. If, if they have a sound tube above you, above your table, and if that could be tailored to and augmented to what you're eating. So whenever you, you order a certain thing on the menu, it's been discussed that that frequency response will enhance uh, the flavor of what you're eating. Uh, some may think that's bad or think that's good, or you get to pick whether you think that's too much interaction and, and, uh, and augmenting what you think. However, it's certainly interesting and compelling. So what we're going to do is we have two glasses of water, both with sugar in it. Um, we, we measured them, we weighed them. So what we did is we took one glass and we put 15 grams of sugar in it. We took another glass and we put 10 grams of sugar in it. We filled them both with 200 and, uh, I think it was 240, all right, 240 grams of water. Stirred it around, let them both sit now for 30 minutes. Sugar is completely dissolved. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring people in or probably just one for this first test and kind of check it out to see what works. And then we'll do an official controlled study with another one with no, no sugar at all. This is just an example of what we're looking at here at MyCom. This is not a scientific study. You can slow down on the hate mail before you send me a bunch of things from some Harvard study we recognize. But what we'll do, we'll have the person test, taste the water, tell us which one they perceive is sweeter. Yeah. And tell you which one's sweeter. Yeah. Definitely sweet. Uh, so they're both pretty sweet, but I'm leaning more towards the one here on the right to be a bit sweeter okay. than the one. Okay. It's positional even, a little bit, not really. Still sweetness, I'm gonna clear out with some water. So this time it was it's a little bit harder to pull out the difference between the two. Uh, so if I had to guess, which what you're asking me to do, yeah, please guess the me. the which one would be sweeter or is sweeter with the tone going, um, I would probably say this one would be a bit sweeter. Okay. 